UPS just came. So I just gotta, ooh, see, this is important. So UPS just came and delivered some packages. So we'll start this vlog with an unboxing, which I guess is pretty popular on the internet, according to my kids who watch hours of videos of people unboxing Spider-Man toys. This box is, this box is from B&H. Any of you who are into photography know, and this, this uh, shaky video is caused because I don't have a, and now we'll get a little less of this. All right, let's see what else we got today. Another box from B&H. This will be my fourth GoPro of 2016 or within the last 12 months. Um, first GoPro I lost while doing paddleboard lessons. Second one I lost in Cape Hatteras last year. Third one was lost um, on a Lufthansa flight from Morocco to Germany. I left it in the front back seat pocket. So nothing, uh, I'm gonna be doing some traveling in the next few weeks, so it's good to have one of these. Because I've lost so many GoPros, I also got a floaty handle thing with a wrist strap. Hopefully that'll help. Last box. These are super cool. There's new stickers. There's some little tiny whale stickers. Some It's Well stickers. Pins. Buttons. Some little, little octopus buttons. So we got a bunch of new stickers. Uh, and these are gonna be sticker packs that are gonna go out with orders. They're gonna be available for purchase. Pretty excited about the new stickers. But now on to the real purpose of this vlog. As an artist, as someone who owns their own business, I'm always interested in marketing and I'm reading different articles and books and trying to learn more and just, just get smarter about it. And a trend that I'm starting to see that it's a bit disturbing that I don't wanna be a part of is this idea of, and I just read it in a, in a marketing book the other day, to donate a percentage of your money to a cause and then to mark up your product to offset that percentage. So for example, if I sell a print for $25, I would say $5 for every print goes towards such and such cause, and then I sell the prints for $30. Really, that's nothing more than just a marketing scheme, and it's really frustrating to me, and it's just something that I don't wanna participate in. And I, I have people ask me, like, if you have an art show, like, what is this art show raising money for? Well, it's raising money to feed my kids. It's raising money so I can live my life. And that sounds selfish. On the other hand, I try to live a life that's very giving. So for me, I'd rather personally with my hands and out of my own checkbook donate money or donate time. And I don't want to just use it as a marketing tool. I know brands like Tom's and, and Wardley, Wardley, Warley, Parker, whatever that uh, sunglass or glasses brand is. I'm sure they're doing great things, but there's so many brands out there now that are, they're just marking up their price a little bit, donating a very little bit of their profit to a cause and it's just a marketing scheme and there's no real heart into it so the money that i'm making from art i'm giving back but on a more personal level even though the artwork might not specifically go to a specific cause it's going to to for for my income know that when you're when you're supporting me by buying my art that my life is is pouring out to help others i don't want to use that as a marketing scheme now with that being said making this video Talking about it kind of seems like a marketing scheme. Will I give money to charities? Yes, I will give money to charities, but it's something that I wanna feel connected to and close to, and I'd rather give my time and have a, a personal connection with that charity. Would I rather physically help someone than to give money? Yes, I feel like when we give money, there's often a disconnect, but when we take our time and we help people with our hands and we're having this personal interaction, I feel like it's much more effective than just 
just writing a check. So just know this, when you support my art, when you buy my art and you buy my products, you're supporting me. It's my income, it's what I do for a living, but at the same time, I'm gonna give of my time and give of my money to give back to help others. And uh, it's just a big part of what I wanna do, be as an artist, is, is, is someone who is encouraging people and is giving back and is helping. And if you listen to that whole thing, thank you. Thanks for sticking around.